I feel like I'm gonna be a little bit loud. Cause my dad is down. This is so weird. I'm recording while someone is in the house. I've never done this before. Um, so if I'm a little low pitched, I'm just gonna turn it all the way up on my iMovie when I edit this because, oh, I get shy. <laughs> oh, I will be shy. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for coming. My name is Brianna. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet me. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I say just do it now because I promise you you're going to like this video. And if you don't, well, it's kind of embarrassing. So let's just hope that you do. Because I have, you know, high hopes. <laughs> it's just a review video, so I don't see what you would like. Anyways, just go ahead and subscribe down below. You could do it right now, or I'm going to remind you later to do it. It's up to you. So on Instagram a couple days ago, I asked you guys if you wanted to see a brow routine or a foundation review on the new Jackie Ina shades. And... It was a mix, <laughs> so I'm gonna do both. But for this week's video, I'm going to do a review on the Jackie Arna foundation. This little baby right here. And basically, I'm just going to try it on and see how I like it, see if I don't like it, and whatever, whatever. So let's go ahead and get started because I don't want this to be too long. So first of all, let's just go over the foundation. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. As we know or should know, <laughs> Jackie Ina teamed up with Too Faced to create nine new shades to make a more inclusive line of foundations. And I have one of the shades that she created called Chai. Uh, this is also the color she uses, so I was happy to see that when I put it on, it matched me because I did the same thing when Fenty came out. I took whatever color she had and it was my color. So me and Jackie Aina are the same shades. So whenever I need help with foundation, I just get what she gets. <laughs> so I got the foundation in the color chai um if you need a color reference chai also matches 420 um for fenty beauty and it also goes along with the true match foundation from l'oreal and i think it's n8 i actually threw that foundation away because it just made me so oily and i was out of it so but it also does go with the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 355. So those are all of the colors I use for foundation. And so far, these two are the closest in color. So if you need a shade reference for what color you may be in the Too Faced foundation, um, I'm also going to put this down below. But Fenty Beauty 420. Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, uh, 355, and the L'Oreal True Match in N8, I believe. And again, I have this in the color Chai. Now the foundation's claims are as follows. Undetectable medium to full coverage foundation. Um, it's also oil free, so for those of you who are oily out there, this may be good for you. It's infused with coconut water, alpine rose, and hyaluronic acid. Uh, hydrating, long wearing, photo friendly, and non comedogenic. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm gonna do is prime with the Fenty Beauty Primer. Oh, you know, it's funny because I've never used this primer before. 
Oh my goodness, this smells so good. Ooh. Ooh. That is moisturizing. Yum. <laughs> Yum. Okay. Now, the first thing that I learned when I used the foundation, it's very thick, so I'm just gonna put two pumps on my hand. And when you put a lot, it runs really fast. But this is not a watery um, foundation. It's not necessarily water-based like Fenty is. It is very thick, but I learned the first time that I could use one and a half to two pumps depending on what I want. And um, also Beauty Blender for me did not work the first time. So this time I'm gonna try it with a buffer brush and my foundation brush just to see which will work better. So I have two pumps on my hand and yeah it's really thick and creamy. It's so sucky because I want to use my beauty blender but I can't <laughs> like I can but it didn't really work out the first time so maybe because of the coverage I did learn that this is definitely um, a medium coverage foundation you can build it up to full but that day I didn't try to build it up anymore. But today I'll build it up for you guys if necessary. But so far as you can see, it is medium coverage. Yeah. I'm just gonna go in with my buffer brush now because I don't like that foundation brush. Actually, I like this brush better. It gets it all in to my skin. And when I was watching other reviews, um, a lot of people were saying that like, you know, it looks like skin. That's also what the box says. And I actually agree. And it doesn't dry too fast either. So you can blend this for as long as you need to. And this is the first coat of the foundation. It's definitely medium coverage. There's this patch I have over here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but um, I have eczema, so I can tell when the um, rashes or spots or whatever is coming out and I can see it along here and here. I have this weird mark on the side of my face and I don't know what it is but it's there. <laughs> but I can still kind of see it through the foundation. But this is what I would do if I wanted to have like a natural type of day like a no makeup makeup look because it definitely does look like skin. It really does. It looks very natural. I might have put too much on my forehead though. It is, it is a very natural foundation. I like the finish of this. Um, so let's try to see if we can build it. I really want to use my beauty blender, but it didn't work the first time. Let's, let's just try the beauty blender one more time. Let's just try it. Cause I already have a coat on, so why not? I'm just gonna get the spots where it didn't cover as much, like under my eye and the spot on the side of my face. Oh, okay. Yeah.
Okay, so I this still look this looks really good. This looks so good. This foundation looks really good. It does. It is full coverage. The spots went away a lot more um, after the second coat. And this one too. Like I can barely see it now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and come back so we can discuss how it looks. Um, it'll probably take me like 30 minutes to an hour to do my look. So I'll come back for you guys. It'll be like a couple seconds. So overall, I would give the foundation a 8.5 out of 10. It matched very well with my skin, um, though I do think I put too much on. It does appear a little cakey, and with the flash photo, which I'll put um, over here somewhere, it did look like I had a cake face. So I think if you use, um, basically with this foundation, I guess less is more, and using less with a brush will work. But it definitely is medium coverage, which is what I usually go for anyway. So it is good with the one coat. That was perfectly fine um, to be a little bit more natural. But for a full blown face look like this, I would have done two coats. But now I think looking at it, I should have stuck with the one coat. It's a beautiful finish. So overall, the shades that Jackie created were great. Okay, they were great. This shade is so perfect for my skin tone. And I'm, I, I've never actually used this foundation before, so the formula and everything was different to me. Uh, Jackie didn't do anything different to the formula. She just helped them with the shades. And I think she did a good job. Um, comparing it to other reviews that I've seen on other skin tones and my own personal review, the tone was perfect. The undertone, like, it is a very good skin color. I mean, a, it's a very good foundation color and shade. And I give the foundation for you know color and formula I give it a 9 <laughs> I give Jackie a 10 for making it and wearing it for me myself I would give it an 8.5 because for some reason it's like it feels thicker on me and I used too much so it's not super natural seamless for me it looks like skin but it looks like super perfect skin which is what everyone wants <laughs> and I like it but I would like it on a certain day you know but I am digging it I do look good I look clean okay flawless so I do like the foundation I will definitely be using it over and over and over and over again not because it was $40 but because it's a it's a legitimate foundation it's really good I almost forgot to mention this <laughs> I actually did forget to mention it, but now I'm mentioning it. This foundation is 30 milliliters and it is $39. Um, I would recommend it, but I would recommend using it with a brush and a little goes a long way. The only reason I didn't do a like throughout the day type of test was because Jackie didn't do anything to the formula. She just made new shades. So the formula is the way it's been since that foundation has been out. Uh, I've been, it's been on my face for about an hour and a half. Um, it is a little tacky. I don't know if that's my skin or just the foundation itself or maybe I put too much on, I'm not sure. But maybe it'll, I don't know. If I, I did set under my eyes and around my mouth and on my forehead and that was it but yeah. <laughs> customer reviews said that the foundation blurred their imperfections yes this foundation made their skin look absolutely perfect yes it does look 
I, I look like a mannequin. <laughs> Not in a bad way, like my skin, porcelain. And this foundation provided natural coverage. For the first coat, yes, it was a very natural finish. With the second coat, it's not so natural, but it is full coverage. And if you like full, full coverage, this is the foundation for you. If you like medium coverage, this is also the foundation for you. Just don't use a lot. Because it is a very thick foundation and it's not really runny or liquidy either. Once it's on, it's on. And it doesn't dry super fast, so I would recommend also setting it. Um, and yeah. It also says, this oil-free foundation masterfully diffuses the line between makeup and skin. Do we think? Do we think so? Yeah. Coverage so undetectable and skin so naturally flawless, they'll think you were born this way. Yes. I would, I would say so. I would say so. If I used less. <laughs> So that's my fault, but a little does go a long way and it's a beautiful finish and it's a beautiful foundation and honestly thank you Jackie Iron for making this shade because if you didn't I probably never would have bought this foundation. I'm so excited to keep using it. I like the finish. I just need to use less next time. I keep saying that but seriously guys, like in person, like as I'm looking in my mirror right now it looks so cakey. I don't know. Like on camera, I feel like it looks a little bit more natural until I do that flash test, you know? But in person, it looks a little cakey. My dad would not agree with this foundation. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got some tips, tricks, or whatever. Uh, and I hope to see you guys soon. If you haven't already, go ahead Hit that subscribe button down below because I told you the first time in the beginning of the video to do it. If you haven't done it yet, go do it now. Because I don't see why I don't see why I just I don't understand. I just <laughs> just hit the button. Just hit the button. It's not the big video. Just hit the button. And I make new videos every Sunday. Well, I post new videos every Sunday. So, I will see you guys again next Sunday. Bye.